Hi folks, welcome to my workroom. Here's the pan of the workroom. As you can see, here on the wet coast, we've got lots of windows to try and let in some light. We've got uh, some storage taking up a lot of the space. And more windows on three sides. Uh, so therefore you, there's not really a lot of space to put up a pegboard so some of the storage issues uh, have to do with trying to make use of uh, the kind of space that we've got and I hope this works and I hope the sound is coming through because it wasn't very loud before so uh, let me take off my hat and glasses and uh, so the first issue is one that's bothered me for a, a long time and that is uh, storing cords on power tools on uh, drills uh, routers th uh, tools of that sort and um, so what I've done is I've created a a little device, which if I can find one, I'll show you. Uh, here we go. And this is on a, a small uh, hammer drill. And what the, the uh, this is called, I've called it a snubby, whatever, pick a name. And uh, the idea is that it, all it does is secure the f loose end of the cord to the fixed end of the cord. Now a lot of drills uh, and so on, power tools used to have a little device on them, a little part of the cord that tuck, you know, that you grabbed onto the fixed part of the cord, and you could hang it up from there. But almost none of them seem to now. So all this little guy does is holds these two together. You can wrap the cord around the tool so it stays nice, tight, out of the way, and also the the loop now that's formed, if there isn't, there's a loop here, which is great, but if there's no loop available on the tool itself, you've got now got a loop that you can hang up. And when you throw the tool in your tool bag to take to the job site, even if it's around the house, uh, this cord is going to stay nice and tight and out of the way. It's not going to get all tangled around with the <coughs> rest of the cords in the bag. So that is the to total story of the, of the snubby. The other tool I want to show you is 